So today I'm talking about a P1259 uh, code on a Honda and uh, a basic overview of what it is and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a P1259 code? It's a VTEC system malfunction. And uh, a lot of scan tools will give this like on bank one, something like that. But oh, so what does this mean? It basically means that uh, the onboard computer is seeing that there is low oil pressure. Uh, several things can cause this when uh, when it sees low oil pressure. So, uh, so what would you do if you got this code? Well, first thing is check the oil. Um, be sure the oil level's good. Be sure it's not dirty and it's been changed recently because you know old, really, really old, because really old dirty oil can cause oil pressure problems. And uh, one of the one of the more common fixes is uh, the oil pressure sensor switch. And uh, this is very common. It's so common that it's often the first thing people do is they swap out this oil uh, sensor. Here it is, right here. And uh, and quite often that does solve the problem. It can also be the wiring harness, uh, so be, keep that in mind. And it, it can be some other things. But basically, if you check the oil and the oil's good, it's not dirty, and then you change out this sensor and you check the wiring and you do all that, that's probably gonna solve it about at least 80% of the time, if not more. It could be other things. It could be, you know, like the oil pump. It could, it could have a passageway being blocked so there is some other things that can cause this, but it's, that's not very common. And so uh, how would you go about changing out this sensor? Well, first you'd have to Google your engine and uh, year of your Honda and uh, find out where it's at. But here's like a mid 2000 Civic and they're changing out this, uh, this sensor and it's right on the top of the engine, right down a little indention and it's got a harness on it. This is the harness I was saying, you could test it for voltage, you could test it for it to be open, you could test it to be shorted to make sure the wiring's good. You can also test this sensor if you don't want it before you replace it if you wanted to. And uh, this uses a 24 deep millimeter socket. Yeah, you basically screw it out and you screw in the new one, make sure the new one seals good so it don't leak oil and uh, put your harness back on. And that quite often that'll solve the problem. So like I said, there can be other things, so keep that in mind. Um, but basically, check the oil, be sure the oil is not dirty, check this harness, and uh, be sure it's not shorted or open and it's getting voltage, and check the sensor or replace it. And that'll usually solve your problem. So that's basically it. If uh, you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.